Oh, boy. First of all, I'm just going to sit up here and say this, guys. Tyler, you know who you are, Mr. Mr. Tyler Scott. Always coming around yearly. yearly, Every year. Every single time Alabama plays Ole Miss, Tyler comes around every single year. And he says, man, we're going to beat the piss out of you motherfuckers. We're going to beat the shit out of you boys. Every year, Tyler does this. And then every year since Tyler has done it, it's just been nothing but disappointment for those Ole Miss Rebels. Well, Tyler, I'm not going to let you get away with this one. I'm going to call you out. I need you to report to the comment section. And all the old, and all the, all the fans out there, all the, all the, all the people that's going to be watching this video, I need you to call out Tyler. He needs to show up. Because I am because if he doesn't, I'm putting out an APP on his ass. I, Tyler, I need you to show up in the comments and explain to me what the hell just happened against Kentucky. See, this is, guys... This is why I don't take week uh, the first three to four weeks seriously. This is why I keep calling out fraudulent football teams. Because every single, we go through this every year, where a team will score 50, 60 points against ICDC College or ITT Tech or, or, uh, or, or, education, for, uh, or education Connection for free, right? We, it's, it happens every year. They'll score 60, 70 points. Their defense plays phenomenal, and then all of a sudden, when they when we actually get into uh, uh, actual conference uh, conference games, this shit happens. Everybody's clowning Kentucky, including myself, right? Because Kentucky played terrible against South Carolina, and then Kentucky's just Kentucky played. Their defense played an amazing. They played as good as a game as they possibly could against Georgia. I don't give a shit what people say. I think Coach Stoops screwed them. Um, he screwed them out of Kentucky, you know, at least trying to go for that win at the end. Um, but South, you know, you look at the South Carolina against the LSUs where South Carolina should have won that game, right? We, we clown these bad teams, uh, you know, but at the end of the day, they're playing the tough competition. They're playing against the tough competition, man. And so Kentucky playing against Georgia, having the momentum, uh, almost beating that team defensively, another really good performance, Right. Everyone was going to sit up and say that Ole Miss was going to cover the spread. They were going to score 20-plus points on this Kentucky defense. Ole Miss looks uh, invulnerable. They look impenetrable. Um, like, they were destined that they were going to go ahead and make it to the college football playoffs. But I'm like, wait a minute here. Like, dude, it's four weeks. Like, let's just let's, let's give it a break. Four to five weeks of college football. Let's give it a break. Give it a break. Ole Miss hasn't played anybody yet anybody and i will say the exact same shit about tennessee i will say the exact same shit about um uh oregon i I mean shit michigan almost lost to minnesota now michigan played texas uh and they beat usc but usc let's be honest here usc is overrated as fuck right we we overrated the shit out of usc usc are they improved from last year absolutely they are improved but People were calling them national championship contenders after when they beat LSU. How does LSU look? So, how does how has LSU look so far in the season? I mean, they look they look solid, but that don't look. But they, but they, I mean, they haven't looked like a playoff team. And then USC loses to a Michigan team that had no that virtually had no passing game. Beat the shit out them on the ground game. And now you look at this Ole Miss football team lost to Kentucky. Now I don't think Kentucky's that bad of a football team. Coach Stoops. Is a uh, is a phenomenal. I, he is a, I, I like I, I just I don't know how he does it. Again, he's not a great coach, but he's not a bad coach. I would say that he is an above average coach. He gets the best out of his players, and sometimes his clock management or just situational awareness is shit at times when it comes to managing a football game. But he gets the best out of his players with 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 not the best resources compared to some of the other SEC giants. Now, any other school in college football, yeah, Kentucky's got some good has got some great resources, great athletic facilities. We all know that. But when it comes to just compare stacking against the rest of the SEC, we all know how this Kentucky um, athletic administration has not put just not they just they have not funded this football program compared to their basketball program, not even close. But I will tell you this. Ole Miss, you guys are overrated. You guys are fraudulent, and I don't think that you're a bad football team. Matter of fact, I wouldn't be surprised at all if, if Ole Miss wins nine games this year. They win nine or ten games. Can they get an upset against, I don't know, like a Georgia? I, I don't know if they play Texas here, but can they get some upset? Absolutely. Can, hell, can, hell, can they even beat Alabama? There's a chance. There's a chance. 
But guys, this is why we gotta stop overrating these football teams. We this is why I hate the I can I say this every year in my videos. The first three to four weeks of college football, I hate. I hate because it's just nothing but power four schools going against FCS schools and JUCO programs and ICDC college. And we don't and and, 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 and they go against these schools not for about one week, but for but for multiple weeks, two, three weeks at a time. And then we're praising these schools like they're just like they're just the the the, the ninety five Nebraska Cornhuskers. Guys, we got to stop doing this. We got to stop doing this, man. We got to stop doing this. Stop overrating these programs. Let's take it. Let's take it one step at a time. Like you know what I'm saying. Thank God the Alabama South Florida game happened the way it did because it lowered my expectations. I saw that shit. I'm like, okay, you know what? That's just I. I'm gonna go right back down to earth. Lower my expectations. Now Alabama plays Georgia tonight. We may we we may we we may we may win the game. We may even we may lose the game. We may blow them out. Hell, they may even blow us out. But you know what? Alabama and Georgia. These are two top teams going against each other. Some of the best rosters in college football. Great coaching staffs. These are two giants going against each other. This is not like Alabama losing to Kentucky or Alabama losing to Vanderbilt. If it does happen, or 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 or, or we're going to overrate Alabama because they crushed Vanderbilt or crushed uh, South Carolina or Kentucky. No, I'm not going to do that. So we got our game, and whatever happens, happens. But Ole Miss, you were the favorite. You were a heavy favorite to win this football game. And you were at home, top 10 ranked school in the country. And you guys can still make the playoffs. It's still possible. But you, But all that transfer money... All that millions of dollars that you paid for your roster. All for shit. All for shit. Oh, Miss, you are in the exact same position that you were last year. You are a good football team, but you'll never be great. You will never ever amount to being a great football team. Because you see, when you when your spring game happened, when you're just when you're having Joey Chestnut come and eat your hot dogs and 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 you're going around and having a fucking a uh, 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 PE class during your spring game. This is what happens. This is what happens. When you're all about fun, when you're all about social media, you're all about clicks and views. You're all about TikTok. Lane Kiffin going out there doing TikTok. This is what you get. This is the result because you're focused on on you're focused on everything else but football. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I It can't be me. That can't be my program going out there losing to Kentucky. I know that's not my program. Um, but it is what it is, guys. Listen, all funny games. Ole Miss can still... Can they bounce back and make it to the playoffs? Absolutely, right? It's one loss. This is a year where you can lose three games and still make it. It's possible, especially in this conference where it's tough. Yeah, the SEC is going to get favored among other conferences to make it. So in all fun and games, Ole Miss still, their season's still alive. Was this shit funny as fuck to do, though? Oh, absolutely. Because all I kept hearing from Ole Miss fans was that they were just going to be unstoppable. Offense was going to be great. Jackson Dart was going to be a Heisman Trophy contender. The defensive line was going to be amazing. They got Walter Nolan and Princely and all that. stuff. I just kept hearing it all. And I waited. I sat back. I, you see, I didn't mention, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even make an Ole Miss video once. I sat back. I waited my time, and I waited for the perfect opportunity. I waited for the perfect opportunity for something like this to go down. Ole Miss fans, this is funny. Tyler Scott, I'm waiting for you, man. I am waiting for you because you come around every year, and I love you, Tyler, but I need you to show up and explain to me what the hell happened.